Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the S1000 and we're on the way to go fix the SI because last night the serpentine belt broke and I had to leave it in a parking lot somewhere down here. So I went this morning and I found this one over at Napa. You know, I was really surprised that no other stores had it in stock. But I mean, I managed to find one. I think it was the only one in stock that they had. So heads up, if you have a belt that looks pretty old, you may want to get a hold of one just in case it does go out. But there she is. You know, luckily, today is Sunday and all these places are closed anyway, so I wasn't really at risk of getting my car towed. Alright. Time to get the jack. Well, let me unlock this car first. Now, if you guys don't know what a serpentine belt is, it's the belt that goes over here. And it pretty much moves everything. I think it even runs your water pump and uh, power steering and the uh, alternator, AC, I mean everything. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need the jack, but I think I will just to be able to route the belt over there because I really can't get a hold of it from here. So I think we do have to jack up the car. All right, now that's off, I'll be able to get the spilt routed right. <laughs> oh man, look. It's like all tangled up on the axle. So this really sucks. The belt ended up breaking the CV axle. So now I gotta change this. I'm not gonna do it today, but it sucks because this is such an easy fix. Damn. All right guys, so I got the belt out and it's so shredded. I mean, it's completely shredded apart. But I'm just really upset that I ended up messing this up. Like that really sucks. And the only thing that you have to do to change this is so easy. You pull up the diagram online. I'll include a link and a picture here in the video. And then you gotta move this tensioner down here. It's the second pulley from the top down. You just put a 14 millimeter wrench or socket, whatever you can fit. And then you pull it your way and that's gonna let you be able to put the belt around every pulley that you can. But yeah, first thing is just wrapping this around the way it's supposed to go. Okay, I got the belt pretty much on. What I did was I just went through here and just pulled it down at the bottom. Um, it's pretty much wrapped around everywhere where I need it. Now the only one that I have to wrap this belt around is the alternator pulley. And this is going to give me some slack when I pull this this way. It's going to give me a lot of slack to do that. Okay, we got everything on. This is wrapped around the way it's supposed to go. So let's turn the car on, make sure everything looks right, make sure the car doesn't overheat or any lights come on and we'll be good to go. All right, fingers crossed. Everything looks like it's good, so I'm going to start getting everything back on. Alright guys, so we're going to leave the car over here. I'm going to go home and then I'm going to bring an Uber back here to help me pick up the car. Alright guys, we're back in the SI and everything seems like it's running right, so we're going to make a quick pit stop. Yeah, I have a medium iced coffee with two 
right guys so we got our drink we got the car fixed but just one more thing i want to show you guys before we end the video so after i finished changing the belt i noticed that the crank pulley looked a little bit wobbly and i think it was making like a noise so i looked under the hood and i saw this all right so i don't think you can see it on video but the crank pulley is down there and it looks really really shaky i'll show you guys a picture of what it looks like and this means I really can't be driving the car hard at all. And I really shouldn't be driving at all. So this car is going to stay parked for maybe a week until I get the part in. And I'm probably going to daily drive the Prelude for right now. And I'll be sure to make a video on how to install the crank pulley. And this is the way the car looks like after everything settling in from the last video. I raised the car just a little bit. But for the most part it looks pretty even. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the camber is pretty good. And I think this side should be pretty even too. It doesn't really look too off. The only thing that I have to do is get some bolts so that way I can bolt the hood on right and it's not flaring up anymore. All right guys, once again, this about wraps up the video for today. And as always, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.